Hey guys, we're at Hollywood Studios. We're so excited to be here. We're actually going to take in, I think, a few more shows than we normally do. Yeah, and we might try to meet a couple of characters. We've never yeah. met BB-8 because the lines are always really long. Yeah. But today is like a lower crowd day, so the, the wait's been only like 10 minutes all day. So we're hoping by the time we get over there, it's still short. Yeah, we, so we've got a few things planned. I don't know as far as the shows go. We probably can't show you too much because our camera just doesn't do well in shows. But we're going to show you what we can, and we're ready to have a good day. Let's go. So we made our first stop, which was ABC Commissary to eat some super mediocre lunch. Like, I think it's even on the downside of the mediocre. It's yeah. Not even quite mediocre. I got honey mustard for my fries, <laughs> and it honestly tasted like nothing. It had no flavor whatsoever. It was gross. Yeah, so that was a little disappointing. But we did that. Now we're headed over to catch our first show, Indiana Jones. We got here and got good seats. I'm trying to convince Matthew to try to get picked because look how close we are. Indiana Jones, Stunt Spectacular, is fun. We don't do it all the time, but it's, it's fun. It's a long show. It is pretty long, so it eats up a lot of the day if you do it, but it is a good time. Uh, it was really cool, and it also looks like it might start raining soon, so it's gotten like breezy and cloudy. and. But hopefully it just stays breezy and cloudy. Yeah, because that's actually comfortable. Hopefully it doesn't rain. We are in Launch Bay now, and we're gonna meet BB-8. Hey. It's so exciting to meet you. <laughs> Meeting BB-8 was pretty cool. It's weird because, like, what do you say to a droid? But he was cool, and he seemed to like respond to what you said. I don't know what he said, but it was cool. It was a lot of fun. So we met BB-8, but we didn't know how to speak droid yet. So we should have got this book. So as far as Disney television programming goes, we watch some ABC shows. There's a couple things on Disney XD we watch. We don't watch any Disney Junior though, we don't have any reason to. But apparently Vampirina's really popular. Look at this line. There's so many people in Vampirina's line. That's crazy. We are headed into the Hyperion Theater for the first time in forever a Frozen sing-along celebration. Matt really enjoys this, and I'm not kidding, I'm not being facetious, he really, really loves the Frozen sing-along. Okay, to be fair, I'm a musician, I love all music, and we listen to a lot of Disney music. That's why I love it. Last time I did get compliments from strangers on my singing abilities to the Frozen songs. I don't think it was your singing abilities, it was your enthusiasm for the songs which you sing. It's whatever. So a couple of things. Number one, they made some changes in the store so that photo thing that nobody ever used is gone. So they moved the lightsaber stuff over and just kind of expanded their merchandise. But then second of all, 
we got a show that we've never gotten before. It was all classic Star Wars. So Darth Vader, Yoda, Boba Fett. It was awesome. And so I think it goes, the different shows go by theater. We were on the very far right, which I don't think we've ever been on the very far right. Um, but yeah, it was incredible. And now Keisha found a stuffed Ewok. And I don't know if he's going to stay here or go home with us. I think they're Yoda ears wearing Mickey ears. <laughs> hey, Chippendale. <laughs> oh. Did someone give it to you? <laughs> We're taking a little break because we've not done a lot today and we need a break from that. So we're sitting on a bench across from the Chinese theater and the great movie ride closed and is turning into Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which looks awesome. We're big fans of the Mickey shorts on Disney XD right now. And there's an episode that I think this is gonna kind of be mirrored after or modeled after that episode where they go to the colorful caverns. Um, but it's them in a train, it runs away or gets loose and then like all the tracks breaking up behind them and stuff. So I think this from what I gather is going to be similar to that a similar experience but it's all in that new animation style which is really cool if you haven't seen it you should totally check out the new Mickey Mouse shorts the seafood is always clean up in somebody else's leg the only way to get what you want is to become human yourself Ariel Eric you can talk I tried to tell you you're the one it was you all the time just finished the Voyage of the Little Mermaid, which we really enjoy every time we do, um, we, do it. we got to like pop all the bubbles from the ceiling. And now we're headed to our very favorite, my very favorite, Tower of Terror. Now, something is about to happen that will change all that. Time for Toy Story Land. <laughs> I'm ready to swirl. I should have put my alien ears on. We're about to swirl and I'm wearing slinky dog ears. It doesn't even make sense. Take a look behind me, you can see some new stuff coming up in Galaxy's Edge, including the wing of a ship. We might have to zoom in a little bit for you to see that, but here's a clear shot. It's my game right there. It's my game. I'm just the only one I'm good at. We're ready to shoot them up.
This is one of the coolest parts. This is the relaunch. Stop and go back. Dark in Hollywood Studios, you know what that means. Alien ears. So the day started off kind of boring, but ended up pretty fun. We had a good day. Yeah, we did have a good day. We actually did the whole park in like basically in an afternoon. Yeah. And then decided to long stand by Slinky Dog. And then we're gonna forego the day later in the week that we were gonna come back. But we had a good day. What was your favorite thing we did? Yeah, that sing along. Not frozen ever after. The sing, sing along. Yeah. yeah, that was cool. I love Slinky Dog Dash. It was a lot of fun. That's kind of a given, so I'll pick something else as well. Uh, I like doing Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. We don't. We skip that a lot just because of how much time it takes. But I have fun in there. So yeah. we're headed out of Fantasmic. We'll leave you guys with any quality footage that we get. Our camera doesn't do too good in Fantasmic typically, but we'll leave you with any usable stuff that we get. So until next time, make sure you guys like the video, comment down below with your favorite thing currently in Hollywood Studios, because they're not much, <laughs> and subscribe to the channel so the bare necessities of life will come to you. See you guys next time. Bye.